Hi, I'm Mary O'Brien, and I'm the Reference Archivist here at Syracuse University. I've been here at SU for 41 years, and I started in the archives in 1981. We're here to talk about the colors of the university, and it might be a surprise to some people to know that it hasn't always been the orange that we know and love today. It was something ugly, right? Oh, that's, that's cute. The first colors of the university were, believe it or not, pea green and pink. These were adapted in 1872, about three days before the first commencement. The next year, they changed the colors once again, it would be rose pink and azure blue. And they were favorites for some time. Is that like turquoise? That was a baby blue, I'm pretty sure, so they wouldn't look tall. We need to keep it where it's at. We're, we're good where we are. There was a track meet at Hamilton. Syracuse University won the track meet, but there were many disparaging remarks about the pink and blue ribbons in the stands. So on the ride home, the faculty and the students and the alumni and the athletes, of course, all talked about the fact that maybe pink and blue weren't really athletic colors. Can you imagine the football team of today taking the field at the Carrier Dome in pink and blue? <laughs> 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 these are the colors though? <laughs> really? Wait, what, when were these the colors? Some of the students and one of the professors created a committee and they started to search for available colors. And what they found out was that the choice was rather limited because there were a lot of universities and colleges out there and then they stumbled upon orange. The students liked it, the faculty liked it, the board of trustees said fine, and orange, and only orange, was picked as the new color of Syracuse University. And about four years after they picked, the alma mater was written by Junius Stevens. That flag we love, orange, float on high. And it's been that color since 1890.